I am Anil Kumar. Welcome to my series on test preparation. Here we have an excellent question based on partial factoring or decomposition of rational functions. x square over a plus bx whole square is equal to 1 over b square within brackets 1 minus a over bx plus a plus b over bx plus a whole square. So when you have a linear multiple or linear repeated factor in that case you can always break it up like shown here right since the degree of numerator and denominator is same so we first divide and get a whole number now you can always pause the video find the value of b i'll show you a very neat way of doing it without going through long division and standard way of doing it so let us try to understand what is bx plus a whole square, right? So let me write down here, bx plus a whole square is basically equal to b square x square plus 2 abx plus a square, right? So that is the term which we are looking for, which will cancel with bx plus a whole square, right? So that is what we are looking for okay now let us see how to do it well since we already know that we need to write x square over a plus bx whole square as 1 over b square times something what we can do here as first step is x square over a plus bx whole square can be written as we can multiply and divide this by b square right so we have 1 over b square times b square x square over a plus bx whole square so so that part is absolutely clear now the idea is we already have b square x square correct we already have this term which is b square x square we want the rest so what we can do here is We'll just keep this 1 over b square outside, right, square bracket. So we come up to this stage. We have here b square x square. We want 2abx plus a square. So we will add 2abx plus a square. And we'll have to subtract also the same term, which is 2abx, and subtract minus a square. Is that clear? So we added and subtracted this term, making this as a perfect square. And in the denominator, we have a plus bx whole square. Is that step clear, right? So this is kind of a complicated step. Now from here, you can clearly see that the first three terms form a perfect square, right? So we could write this as 1 over b square. So these are perfect squares. So I could write this as 1 plus bx whole square. And we are left with these terms here, which is minus 2abx minus a square. Taking minus common, I could write this as 2abx plus a square, right? Divided by all this, which is a plus bx whole square. Now a plus bx whole square divided by a plus bx whole square gives me the first a first term 1, right? So, so what we get here is 1 over b square and uh, let me rewrite a plus bx whole square over a plus bx whole square minus so now we are left with 2abx plus a square divided by a plus bx whole square. Clear? So we have got 1 now and we have to now partial factor the other part. Correct? Now in this, we are looking for a term a plus bx. Okay, so 
but we have here 2b right so so what we could do here is we could rewrite this as 1 over b squared so this is 1 for us 1 minus now in this case if I have to write a plus bx we have bx we could take 2a common but we do not have uh, 2a here right so what we can do here is that we can add and subtract 1a square right so we'll write this as 2abx plus we have a square we'll add and subtract a square so we get 2a square then we can take 2a common right and here we have a plus bx whole square is that clear to you so this could now be written as 1 over b square let me write equal to i'm just squeezing it in since there's very less space here now we can take 2a common we have we are combining these two terms so that is 2a for us is that clear that is 2a for us so we can take 2a common so we have minus here so we have 2a common and we are left with bx and here we are left with a square a common a right so bx plus a and minus a square divided by a plus bx we we can rewrite this is that clear to you right now we'll finish it off by writing this as we have one minus so we have two terms here right so bx plus a, a plus bx whole square so that gives me one okay so we have here 2a in the numerator right this is the minus sign with us so we have 2a and then this is over a plus bx since one of these a plus bx cancels right and this minus and minus makes it plus so we have a square divided by a plus bx whole square now when you compare with what is given to us we see that b should be equal to a square right so so on comparison we know this is what b is correct so that means b is equals to a square so answer c is the right option is that clear to you correct so that is how you are going to solve this so i hope the steps are absolutely clear go through it once again the strategy is very neat you're trying to complete the squares and get the result you could of course do long division and otherwise it takes much longer this is a very neat method of writing into decomposed form of a rational function i hope you understand and appreciate it feel free to write your comments share your views and if you like and subscribe to my videos that'd be great thanks for your time and all the best